And now, Hard Facts. Hard Facts with Dion. Welcome okay, back. Uh, Hot Talk still on 90.3 Nigeria Info. Here in Port Harcourt, I'm Dio. It's 8 minutes gone past 5 p.m. Thanks for staying tuned. And uh, right now we're discussing drug abuse. Well, it's always been with us, I suppose, but there are concerns based on some reports uh, that we might be witnessing an alarming increase, especially uh, with uh, a certain uh, banned substances. Well, has to report to my news earlier today. Uh, following some viral online videos indicating a rise in the abuse of a new psychotropic drug, otherwise called Colorado, by young people, spokesperson of the Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, Oge, Iso uh, Kariari, has called on authorities to track and block the sources of Colorado uh, due to its dangerous effects. Uh, Dr. Iso Kariari told our correspondent uh, that the substance Colorado is man made and the negative effects, which includes death is expected. That's like a class of cannabis, okay, which marijuana also falls into that class. So this cannabis is the kind of natural one. So this Colorado probably is a synthetic form, and that means that it's man-made. And because most times when these drugs are taken in, they are not measured, they're taking in, sometimes it may be an overdose, okay, and the, the active ingredients are such that even in minute quantity, Different people can react differently to these substances. Um, wherever those sources are coming from, the regulatory authorities need to step up and need to cut down those, um, calm down on those sources. Now, she, however, called for sensitization amongst young people on the need to stay off Colorado, or some of them take it without knowing. Okay, and we need to also educate our youth out there that these drugs sometimes they can be contaminated. Sometimes it may not actually be what they tell you that it contains. They contain other substances that you're not even aware of. And this is because people want to make money. They want people to have that experience that will make them get even more um, outcome of the little that they have. So there's some ingredients that may be contained in those drugs that most times they are not labeled as having those things. And those they actually be what can be causing or leading to these um, excessive side effects. Now, videos on social media have indicated that the Colorado substance is common among recreational drug users in Nigeria. And the online videos, those who take Colorado either bark like dogs, uh, walk around like zombies, or outrightly collapse after displaying unpleasant behaviors. It's also been known to cause death. Now, Colorado is a street name for synthetic uh, cannabinoid and is classified as a psychoactive substance. It's also known as black mamba. Amsterdam Gold, Devil's Weed, X, Mary Joy, Annihilation, Thai High, and Hawaiian Haze. Now, how big a problem is it uh, that we have with our hands right now? And what's uh, responsible for this proliferation of uh, these banned substances? What impacts do they have on our young persons uh, and society in general? And what can we do uh, to curb these Ugly, ugly trend and nip it in the bud, and these and other related matters we're discussing uh, in this hour, and you're welcome to join in uh, as well. Uh, I'm joined right now uh, via phone by uh, pharmacist uh, Ijema Oke Iwurum. She's a uh, national publicity secretary uh, of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Uh, Madam, good evening to you. You're welcome to Hard Facts. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Rivers people. Let's start on this note. Uh, are we really witnessing an increase uh, in the in cases of drug abuse? Is there a, I mean, drug abuse, as I mentioned a while ago, has been with us for quite some time. But is that problem escalated now? And if so, what's responsible for it? Yeah, Dio, it will be uh, an understatement to say if it's escalating. As of today, is the public health emergency. That is what I would say. Drug use and abuse as of today is a public health emergency. But just like um, uh, most things that happen in our country, uh, maybe we're waiting until we don't have um, 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 a, a youth for tomorrow. Maybe at that point, when every youth 
have been taken to the other side, then we'll give it all the attention that it desires. I can tell you um, from statistics, two out of every five young people in Nigeria use drugs. It's that bad. And you don't, you know, in those days they say, oh, um, look at maybe some kind of faces. This time is available everywhere. At the high places, at the sacred places, at the hallowed places. It is a no. public health emergency, as I to be. Uh, once again, I mean, abusing drugs has always been with us, and uh, abusing drugs is not just uh, doesn't just have to do exclusively with banned substances. Even with medication, uh, even over-the-counter medication can be abused, or even pre prescribed or prescription medication can also be abused, including banned substances. Um, is it worse when the substance is bad or banned, pardon me? Is it maybe sometimes, well, I don't think abuse of any kind is good, but um, is it worse when the substance is bad? Uh, are the effects or complications that may arise uh, more severe when it's a banned substance? Or should it be perceived, uh, should abuse of drugs be perceived uh, on the same level, whether they're over the counter, whether they're prescription medication or banned substances? Yes, and um, Bio, as a pharmacist, I would want to draw a distinction between drug and medication. What we're looking at, as of today, you know, um, as a layman, we'll all say drugs. But when we talk about uh, prescription drugs or over-the-counter drugs, I prefer to use the main medication for those ones because they are intended for use for something and they are taken within the limit of the, the safety of the such prescriptions. But when we talk about drug abuse, what we're talking about today, we're talking about banned substances or when people decide to convert prescription drugs to take the legal doses that those drugs are not the, uh, the regimen that are not meant to be consumed by a human being. So that is what, what we're talking about today, which I understand is uh, the concern of most Nigerians is drugs, not medication. So the drugs of abuse, most of them are banned because they are not good for human consumption or at the, the concentration that we create the kind of euphoria that uh, most of uh, the uh, abusers, the drug users are looking for. Those concentrations are not allowed, so who would want to group them as drug abuse? Uh, it's also been argued uh, that uh, some of these banned substances may not actually have the harmful effects that it's been, this, they've been suggested to have. Uh, for example, there are banned substances here, like marijuana, uh, which is which has been legalized in some other parts of the world. As a matter of fact, I believe there's an ongoing campaign even in Nigeria here, yeah, to legalize uh, marijuana. I mean, it's in, a, it's in a natural state, in a natural form. But we'll come to the synthetic ones in a moment. As uh, the report I read just a while ago suggests this particular drug, Colorado, is. Uh, but however, once again, there is a school of thought that there are some banned substances, like marijuana once again, which is in a natural form, natural state, and is not really as harmful as has been suggested. I would also want to maybe correct that impression. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Dario, if you could remember, in those days, if you see any person who is uh, manifesting in the street, showing some signs of uh, psychosis, the first thing you see people say is, if you like say, in don't take it, meaning that it is a known fact that this is a side effect that can come from this. So today, when we talk about uh, uh, medicinal or medical cannabis, we're not talking about that cannabis or that uh, weed or that marijuana as it is grown in most of our, our environment. 
it means that you know like in every plant particularly if you look at them uh, plants and see that it has some med uh, medicinal use value that plant could be manipulated to maybe lower some concentration of what would create a problem so that you grow what will have the you reduce particularly uh, the level of uh, maybe um, um, uh, saponins or, or glycosides that may be resident in that particular plant so that maybe it will have only the concentration that could be safe that will not create this or that end event. But I can tell you that that's one which has been legalized in some other countries. We have some species of that around Nigeria. But that one, most times, will not make people as high as what they want it to be for the reason of which they now decide to bring it and uh, potentiate it with some substances that will now create even a double harmful effect. Let's talk about that for a bit. In, in the report I read just a while ago, with particular reference to uh, the drug Colorado, uh, the uh, ex the health experts who uh, spoke to our reporters described it as synthetic, uh, as man-made, and is referred to as a uh, cannabinoid. Uh, can you explain that in some detail? What exactly does that mean? Okay, okay, yes. No, cannabinoids, you know, like uh, uh, cannabis, if you take our the local libo or wheat we have in the bush, when you bring it out and uh, you take it into the lab and you see pretty, it can something that they dangerous and um, the one not well as you said, not the job that it may cause death, but because of the way it affects the central nervous system, that is the brain. Because of that, that is why maybe that cannabinoid, which is called the H uh, C H C. It's removed. We, uh, it, as far as today, is, uh, is we found out that it has some medicinal uh, useful effect, like uh, for people who have cancer, it could be used as an analgesic. Uh, it could also be used in, even in some kind of convulsion, epilepsy, in, uh, in medicinal use. But this cell uh, is also used as topical uh, cream for some kind of skin cancer and other things. So but what is happening presently is uh, because even the wheat may not be readily available everywhere and anywhere, to get the feeling of that, oh, it is still the wheat that uh, they are taking, they can get any any green leaf or any any leaf that is available, any dry leaf that is available anywhere. And now sprinkle it with uh, this cannabinoid, and even some of them may even augment it with uh, some kind of uh, amphetamine and uh, methamphetamine, uh, potentiating it so that uh, they can smoke it. And it will make it last longer in the system than the usual ego that may last for uh, a number of uh, hours and go away. So that will give it a longer life, a longer half-life in the system so that maybe when they take it for a period of 24 hours, it can keep uh, the person uh, who has taken it high. All right, Madam, the report as well, it, uh, we have it here that uh, this, this this cannabinoid has a Yes. certain effects uh, on those who consume it. Uh, I think it says that uh, in some videos, it makes them black like dogs, walk around like zombies, or outrightly collapse after displaying certain unpleasant yes. behavior. Yes, so it even it causes it death. And I, I get lucky to explain how, what happens, what, what leads to that. However, I do have to go for a commercial break now. We have to go for a break, and then we've got headlines at 5.30. Uh, after which, we will return, and the conversation will continue. Okay. Thank you very much. Stick around. Hard facts. We'll be right back in a moment. Information is a... Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Mediatrix of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS. 
Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001. 0018162 and let us connect you to your customers connect with your customers advertise on night 2.3 nigeria info visit our downtown office at shop 9 media tricks of all graces plaza opposite firs stadium road port harcourt and book your commercials call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, Opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9. Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 
0018162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite FIRS, Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, and book your commercials. Call 0817-001-8162. That is 0817-001-8162. And let us connect you to your customers. Connect with your car. With political issues and developments around you, only on Nigeria Info. Information is a two-way thing. Nigeria Info, it's your turn. Let's talk. Headline News, Nigeria Info on 92.3. Headline News. Hello and welcome. Here are the headlines. Several people homeless following demolition in LMA trailer park by River State Government. A new Vice-Chancellor of University of Harkon, Professor Wunari George Will, resumes duty. Ignatius Ajuru, University of Education in River State, suspends lecturer. Moncredel International School, LA1, accused of victimizing students who failed to pay for malpractice in ongoing NECO examination. And one of the kidnapped students of school in Kaduna regains freedom. Police describe viral video of Chidima Ojuku denying murder of Super TV boss as an afterthought. Uh, Senate rejects nomination of Loretta Onochin as INEC National Commissioner. President Buhari invites National Assembly members for dinner in Aso Villa today. On the following scene, scores dead in South Africa following violence since jailing of former President Jacob Zuma. In business, trading activities to resume in oil mill market in two weeks despite markets reopening last week. And entertainment, Elsie Okpocha, wife of comedian Basket Mouse, reveals she suffered three miscarriages as she sells off Baby Bomb today to mark her birthday. And in sports, MBBF dedicates D Tigers wins against US and Argentina to Sound Sultan. And those are the headlines. Details in our major news at 6 p.m. Contact our newsroom on 0818-90017. Thanks for listening. I'm Ade Dayo. Ilushakin. Good evening. Connect with your customers. Advertise on Night 2.3 Nigeria Info. Visit our downtown office at Shop 9, Media Tricks of All Graces Plaza, opposite. How informed do you need to be to drive in a fast changing world? Listen to experts only. Keep it down locked on 92.3 Nigeria Info. For the best of news, talk, and sports 24 7. I am listening. And now, Hard Facts. Hard Facts with Dial. Welcome back. I still have fact tonight to 13 Nigeria in Fern Harry and Port Harcourt. I'm Dio. We've got 27 minutes uh, to go before uh, 6 p.m. when the major news comes on. Discussions continue uh, for the moment. Uh, discussing uh, reports uh, that there is a rise in abuse of a new psychotropic drug uh, called Colorado by young people. Joining me via phone for this conversation is pharmacist uh, Ijama Eke Wurum. Uh, she is National Publicity Secretary uh, for the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Madam, you're welcome to the show once again. 
Thank you, Dario. So before the break, I asked a question based on the reports once again, which I read out earlier on, uh, reports of the effects of this uh, Colorado drug on users include uh, barking like dogs, walking around like zombies, or outrightly collapsing after displaying unpleasant behaviors, even death as well. Uh, what's responsible for these uh, reactions in, in the persons who, who use it? Uh, yes, Dyer, remember that... Um People who abuse drugs um, consciously are doing it to achieve something. They want to stay high. They want to be in a state of euphoria. State of euphoria is a state where things are exaggerated. Uh, maybe that's why you see somebody you know, failing exams and it doesn't, you know, you'll be wondering, is this person really a human being? That kind of a state that uh, to, to take off the human being's uh, head off its neck is not difficult. So um, the drugs go a long way to create an impression, to mimic the natural transmitters in the body. Those things that make you happy. You know, the dopamine sensor, there are things the Lord put in us when he created us, that when you're happy, those hormones are high. They help you rejoice, laugh, make merry. So some of these drugs like marijuana and heroin will want to mimic that particular trans, uh, neurotransmitter, the structure of that neurotransmitter. And then sometimes it works by exaggerating, you know, the release of the... Uh, those neurotransmitters. So this is the way it works. All right, if you've got any question right now, maybe you can take a call or two. Lines are open 0817-923-0002 or 0003 or 0007. What's up on 0809-030-6416? So what can we do to address this? What can we do to change uh, to change this trend? Uh, um, Dio work will be done uh, every day we continue to see. When you have um, a lot of people who are idle, first of all, you have created a problem. Idleness can get people a fit with an alternative, which they, a lot of times is not the palatable. When I talk about idleness, Nigeria may be the only country where you hear that uh, what is this person doing? They say he's a student. For 24 hours, he is a student. From January to December, he is a student. So there's a lot of free time out there. Unlike in some other economies where you students will have to juggle, work, and study. So there's a little, a little time they can work for hours and then get back to study. There is, you know, there's a need to bring back hope to this country. When the end starts happen, like some of the conversations we've had in the past, in the days when in the 80s and 90s, people will look around and they see hope. But right now, when they look around, people don't wake up again and look up to graduate and get a decent job because from January to December, as we read sometimes in the phases of the newspaper or, or maybe in, in social media, somebody asked one day, he said um, that uh, those who work in central banks, don't they retire, don't they die? I've never seen an advert saying that they need to fill up those things. Madam, madam, answers, madam, please hold a thought. I've got a few callers waiting right now. All right. Oh, they're both gone. Hope you Michael Kobach, if you can. Go ahead, please. So, you know, it is hope. If hope could be restored, if the young people can look around and tell themselves that, oh, it pays if I live a responsible life and I don't uh, uh, get myself messed up with drugs or substances and I graduate and make a good grade, I know I can be here or there. It's going to go a long way. If uh, there is also parental care. You can see that it is a rat race to this. We'll, we'll, so come, to, we'll, we'll come to the parental care matter shortly. Uh, Michael, hello, you're welcome. Go ahead. 
Hello, Mr. Daya, good evening. Very good evening, please. Go uh, ahead. I, I want to ask the guest that there's no point to lament parental uh, care, societal care, this and that. Now, so many lives have been put in the drug line. How do we rescue them? Like, for instance, in my area, which I believe that woman over there knows, it is known for for this kind of thing. I dro- I listen drug activities going on, even at at my backyard. I can even perceive the Indian hemp, the alijuana, being smoked. I, I I can see them cutting these drugs into pieces. Kids, little kids, at 12, 15 years, 10 years, being exposed to these drugs. And I have made several contacts. How do we get these people, the drug dealers, arrested? The drug law, the the PSN, how do we get that woman here? I believe she knows my, she knows the area of town I'm talking about. The quick code has it. You come, you see them selling the drugs openly, like you. I mean, openly, like you want to buy anything. Great to hear from you, sir. So, madam, we have to conclude the conversation right now, especially to parents and guardians or those who have younger persons around them. Uh, what should they look out for? And if they do find that that uh, somebody, you know, that they have charge of is into drugs, what should they do? Very quickly, please. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, the first thing is that parents and guardians should look very closely. When you have that person who wants to be alone, who doesn't want to come in and look at you, who wants to be alone most of the time, look very closely, drugs may be happening. If there's a, a, a need to, you know, um, um, have a conversation. Open up, talk to them. Let them know that all hope is not lost. Help them know that, let them know that they could be helped. Don't judge them. Because, you know, people have diabetes, people have malaria, and they are taken care of. There are those who, whatever you do, it is the way they have been, you know, that the, they have, these um, 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 uh, demands, uh, you know, they have this compelling push that is coming from within to demand for those substances. So we should take it as a medical, a health problem, instead of looking at it as a criminal offense. Talk to them as the way you would talk to somebody who has HIV and AIDS, as the way you talk to somebody who has malaria, to say you can be helped. And like the person, the, the person who asked the question asked, uh, we, we, we have a lot of, uh, uh, if you go to our website, you'll go, you will get numbers where you can call if maybe you already have somebody who is already locked down in this particular minute and the person can get help. The PSN office is uh, at number three. I know maybe most of the people, but I know for this kind of a case, I don't know if you would mind my saying. No, go ahead. Of an go, go ahead, please. Okay. Our, our office is uh, beside SPA, uh, the Unity Bank building, um, number three, Azikiwe Road, former Pan African Bank building. We have uh, numbers there that you could reach. And you will be helped to where and where you can take any person who is already hooked. We have quite a number we're already managing because it is what is beyond families. But the challenge we have again is that most families are hiding it. Believing is what they can handle, is what they can punish the child for, or maybe beat the child or lock up. No, this person needs a help like every other chronic medical Madam, we, we would have to wrap up the conversation on that note. Thanks for being a part of it, especially my guest, Pharmacist Ijema Oke Iwirum, she's National Publicity Secretary, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Madam, many thanks for your time. Thank you very much. It's always my pleasure, Darian. We've got the major news coming up to put the hour at 6pm. The open season is up after that. Do please stay with us.